Well, of course, we're sitting next to our ABQ to do crew. Guys, what is your favorite thing to do by the pool? Yes. In the pool, around Start the with Tina here. Lay out and just relax. Take a go. nap in the sun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But don't fall asleep too long. Yeah, you get yeah, then burnt. I'll roast and I'm pretty white. Yeah, you and me both, Tina. You <laughs> okay, both. Terry? Terry? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guy with the book there, just yeah. snoozing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> snoozing. Yeah. That's that's a fun thing. Kevin, what about you? Well, it might be too early in the morning, but I love having a cocktail by the pool. Cocktail by the pool. Yeah. Now yeah. there's a thought. Totally relax, and then maybe stick my toes in. There yes. you go. Yeah, okay. absolutely. And I mean, it's it's that's one of the beautiful things about New Mexico is you can you can really spend the whole day by the pool. But as we just learned, make sure you have your SPF 30. Yes. yes. Put it on a half hour before and do it every hour and a half. That's absolutely. All you gotta do. Okay, so we want to start with you, Tierna. What is going on this weekend? What's going on this weekend? We have our summertime in Old Town uh, concert series. So we do different things every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Live music, different performances in Old Town. So tonight. Uh, from 6 to 8, Casa Flamenca will be okay. out there uh, with flamenco dance, um, Jesus Munoz, um, internationally known flamenco dancer, and his crew will be out there. And then we have bluegrass tomorrow, oh, cool. and yeah, and then um, we just, you know, we have something different every weekend down there, and it's always free. That's so great. Yeah. always free. That's always what I like free. To every free. weekend always through free. Balloon Fiesta yeah. in Old Town. And it's you know I got to tell you the afternoons right yeah. now, especially after like a good little rain, mm -hmm. Old nice Town and cool is down. amazing. Yeah, that is a perfect time to be there. All right, yes, Terry, you guys uh, over at Pope Joy Presents, you're enjoying the summer a little bit. But what's <laughs> uh, what's going on arts and culture wise? Well, I want to get people out to see James and the Giant Peach, which oh, is yeah. this oh, last yes, weekend. We to some of those actors. Yeah, this is at Play Conservatory, and you know the story. It's great fun. You know. James lost his parents to a tragic rhino accident. He's living with his aunt Spiker and Sponge. How can it get any worse, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a great story. Go see this. This is the Jim Morley Theater on set at St. Pius. It's Play Conservatory. At St. Pius. Conservatory doing that. Yeah, yes. fantastic. And Play Conservatory is a great organization. They They're are. opening Tarzan in a couple of weeks. Right, We're going to be week, talking yeah. about that on style. But yeah. get out and see James and the Giant Peaks. They do great yes. work. They do. They do great work. Well, Catherine, what's going on with Bernalillo County? Oh. Bernco Bernie has a sheep day and rodeo happening tomorrow. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. Rodeo. Long. Bernalillo County has rodeo grounds out there okay. way in the deep South Valley. 7001 Coors Boulevard is happening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Begins 9 a.m. and it goes all day long. Till the cows come home. Till the cows, <laughs> cows, cows come home. Cows all day long. The rodeo. Yes, Bernalillo County partnered with First Impression Rodeo Club. So uh -huh. it's Youth Rodeo Day. So that means all the rodeo participants are 18 years and younger. Really? We're going to be wow. two year olds mutton busting. You guys know what, what mutton busting no, is? What is that? You put a kid on a sheep and they hang on to that wool for life and they limb good. No. no. Oh, the parents the parents are holding them and, and oh, you know, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's introducing the Hannah kids to the rodeo, you know, just the rodeo thing. Yeah. And so yeah. all the way to 18. So there's calf roping, junior bull riding, you know, so you have mini bulls. I didn't even know there was a mini bull, but there are mini bulls for mini the smaller bulls. kids to bull riding. You know, timed events, the barrels, the flags, the poles, all that sort of thing. Wow, so no I kidding. know all day long, you know, and it's free. So kids who want to participate yeah. can certainly sign up. They're taking registrations till eight thirty that morning. Uh -huh. So you can sign up. The only thing is you have to be in rodeo dress code. Which oh. means dress code. you gotta be sporting the jeans and the button up okay. shirt and the cowboy hat. Oh, we and can the do jeans. that. But you get them out there Just and they get introduced little, to it. Does he have a little cowboy outfit? Uh, well, he has a button-up shirt and jeans, but I'll go buy him He's a, little a little cowboy, cowboy hat. hat. <laughs> he needs a little cowboy yeah. hat. Yeah! That's great. Well, guys, of course, abqtodo.com, fantastic website. It's got all things fun to do in and around the Duke City. Mm -hmm. Head over to cost.com, click on the style tab. We will have links to that. Guys, thank you so much thank you. for coming in. Terry, you said you're going to you. go uh, You're going to go do a cannonball here in a minute? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes.